I have played through Zelda a tiny little bit before in the past, only in like little fragments. Um, we did a bit where last year, I think it was, where um, I did like the tutorial area and then um, I went to like Hyrule Castle and tried to beat Ganon on like three hearts and didn't really succeed. Um, but I've also seen little bits here and there with my family playing Zelda and Breath of the Wild. So the main objective of this is to get as much of the Zelda Breath of the Wild experience as possible that I can get while already knowing obviously a few things about the game because my wife and my son have asked me to help them do boss fights and things like that so a bit of that has been ruined um but in two weeks time tears of the kingdom come out and my objective on that is to play it uh, as soon as it comes out and then not get spoiled and then that will be an actual complete obviously fresh playthrough uh with no spoilers in terms of like no not knowing so what stuff happens so i'm looking forward to it um but I want to kind of basically be kind of up to date with all the lore and stuff and the mechanics and try and get the as much of the Breath of Wild fresh experience I can get um, before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me. Uh, so I guess I should probably... I don't know why Fire Emblem is uh, trying to load. But I guess I should start up the game. I do have uh, the DLC and stuff like that. So, um... I don't know how much of that will I experience in the game, but I did buy like the whole, you know, flashy bells and whistles, DLC, everything. So yeah. And also in the chat, I did put a pin thing, no backseating, please. Uh, unless if I say stuff out aloud, it's probably my own thoughts unless I say like stuff. Otherwise, if you can restrain from spoilers, uh, as much as possible, that would be, be great. Okie dokie. Do let me know if there's any issues with the quality of the stream and I'll try and resolve them as quickly as possible, whether if the game's too quiet or not, or whatever. Yeah, exactly, Brandon. Having people understand that you're not just talking your thoughts out loud and not wanting answers is so hard. I know. Especially as a streamer as well, and you're trying to convey a lot that comes out of your brain anyway into actual words. Ah, my eyes. So bright. Open your eyes. Like on a surgical table. Wake up, Link. <laughs> is that what one of those water beds is like? You guys that own water beds? Is that <laughs> is that what happens? Nude. It's awfully quiet there. So I think that's like the chic slate. Which kind of looks like the Nintendo Switch. I think it's kind of cool. That is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Hey, Retro. Can you guys hear the game okay? Or do I need to turn it up a little bit? a little light. Right, let me see if I can make it slightly louder. Right, I think I may have turned it up slightly, so you will see how it goes. The Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before and yet there's something familiar about it. It's because it looks like the Nintendo Switch. What capture card am I using? I'm using the Algato inbuilt-in PC one. Well, I guess we go through the doorway.
And well, we're not going to be naked anymore. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they are surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit sh too short, though. All right, so we press plus to get to our inventory. A select, equip, and hey, our pants aren't showing anymore. Is there a shirt in here? Oh yeah, an old shirt. Nice. What does this button do? Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Okay, well that seems simple enough. It's like a QR code though. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Ah, my eyes. Ah. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon High Rule once again. Now go. They did a good job actually making it like the, the brightness when your eyes adjusting. So B to sprint, X to jump. I think that's the top <laughs> button. I'm not familiar too much with the Nintendo controllers. So I might end up pressing the wrong buttons here and there. There's a burp. It's a volcano and a castle and some rocks and some trees. How's the uh, the music sound? The little church. And an old man with a beard. Oh. Tree branch. Two damage. Wooden branches such as these are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Alright, so let's equip our new weapon. Oh, it seems to also have equipped. How do we hit? I don't know the controls. Alright, so R. What button is that? R. Just R. R is to get it out. B puts it away. How do I hit things? I need the tutorial later. There's a mushroom. A common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. There's another branch. All these weapons. Press and hold. Oh, oh, the the right like D pad and then the joy pad to then switch weapons. Oh, okay, that makes it easy. Another tree branch. Oh my goodness! We're gonna collect all the tree branches. Mushrooms. The yeah, tap button is Y. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. You guys shouldn't be telling me these things. <laughs> Let me be noob. Hey, that butterfly. Can we get the butterfly? No. There's apples on this tree. Can we get those apples? Is there another apple? <laughs> nice. So should we take that apple, or is he going to be mad? Uh -huh. Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Bye. <laughs> Did we just leave him dirt? <laughs> Who are you? Me. I'll spare you my life story. Oh, thanks. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? 
Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. Pointing at the church. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of a, of service. Can we take this? This A baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. I beg your pardon? I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Forgive me. I could not resist pulling my leg. Leave my leg alone. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. I got some apples. How do I cook an apple? Don't tell me. Uh, hold X. Uh, add. Let's get all the apples. Whoa. I got three apples. Drop. Are they cooking? Or are they on fire? Ah, the apples are on fire. Oh wait, they turned into baked apples. Wait, just that one did. I guess because it was directly on the flame. Someone really didn't want me to make apples. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. All right, I was making some apples. Press minus. Alright, so I need to head to that yellow dot and we're this yellow triangle. And that is the Shrine of Resurrection. I guess that's where we started. Alright. How rude though to interrupt me making my apples. Wait, yes, no, I want to pick up my apple. <laughs> apple. Oh my apple. Take. Can we take this as well? Torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you push it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask, are you planning to use it? It's a secret. I see. Well then, do as you please. There are plenty of monsters ahead here, though. Remember that you can be use that as a weapon if need be. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. So LR to target. Is that LR? Is that what the button's called? No, oh, ZL. ZL to target. Okay, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there's an axe. That should be a better weapon, right? Woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. It's formidable weight and uneven balancing make it a slow, inefficient weapon. Yeah, but it's like plus three, isn't it? You can throw it. Hold Z, uh, no, head, hold R, and then let go to throw it. Well, let's just use the axe for now. I'm sure we'll get some bad guys soon. What happens if, can we light that campfire down there and have our own little campfire so we don't have to hang out with the creepy old dude? Yes. Whoa! What happens if we put this on fire? Can we do that? Whoa, we can. Nice, now we've got our own fire. We don't have to rely on that old man. I look like a, an Olympic torch uh, bearer. An acorn, often found on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore this nut. So you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Don't, don't chat. Um, what else do we got down here? We got more mushrooms. 
Up, up, up. Got more nuts. Ah, oh, there's another nut up there. Did I just hear a piggy? I hear a piggy. I swear I heard a piggy. Piggy? Wait, yeah. I heard that. Wait, that's not a pig. What? Uh, how do I block on? So it's... Uh, wait, I've got my torch. Aha! Oh, this guy's got a lot of HP. Ow. He's also got a tree branch. I lost a quarter of a heart. Let's get my woodcutter's axe out again. Wah! Die. Oh wow, one shot that. Choo-choo jelly. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It's unstable in a state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Choo-choo. But it's not a train though. It's a little blob. It's quite a cute name though for a blob though, isn't it? Can I break these barrels? <gasps> what have we got? Oh, we've got meat. The seared steak, raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking it has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. That's probably like well out of date though. Imagine keeping, like if you kept meat in a barrel like that, it wouldn't stay um, very edible for long, would it? Oh, I didn't do much. Ow. We got his uh, mace though. A boko club. A crude boko blend club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Okay. And we got a bobo blin boko blin horn. The severed horn of a bokoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Okay. And we got a bokoblin fang, a tooth obtained from a bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. So we what we liquefy down its teeth and its bones in order to make magical potions. That sounds pretty vile and disgusting, but okay. Maybe I should eat one of those apples. We could use some extra hearts, can we? We've got a baked apple. Yummy. An ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show signs of wear. Is there anything else around this thing? Nope. Right, what else? I hear more boko blins. So holding down the attack button makes me do spinny spinnies. Okay, I ran out of stamina. Got more things. Oh, apparently the Boko Club does more damage than the Woodcut axe. So we use the Boko Club. Boko, Boko Club. What do we got? We got some new trousers already. Seem to have higher armor, the high highly in trousers. Right, let's equip those. Nice. Let's hit these. Ah, interesting. So my woodcutter's axe cut through these with one hit, I think. Ah. There's a book there's a choo choo hiding in the barrel. So I wonder like, because I guess it's like, uh, I mean, it's a woodcutter's axe. The barrel's made of wood. Makes sense, right?
But hey, if Laura, I have one in the chat. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. I intend to play through Breath of the Wild over the next few days until we complete it. So we'll see how we do. An ancient spring. A spring used in ancient machinery. It is light and buoyant, enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. Anything else? I feel like there should be like a chest here. This feels like a... Feels like we're missing a chest. Is there anything above us? Doesn't look like it. What sort of top playtime are we looking for a normal playthrough? I don't know, as long as it takes. If it takes all two weeks up until Tears of the Kingdom, then it will take two weeks. But I... I am kind of hoping it doesn't take longer than a few, like, f three, four streams, maybe. Do I have the DLC? Yeah, I do have the full package. Is this game like Genshin Impact? I hope not. <laughs> Whoa, I slapped. I need to change my weapon. Oh, he dropped his weapon. Nice. Yeah, the Boko B B Club is better than the axe in terms of actual combat. You can't carry any more weapons. Can we drop like this some of the sticks that we've got? I've got four sticks. How do we drop? Drop. Nice. Let's go inside. Oh, these are the classic like Zelda pots that you get in the older games. Can we throw? Ah, oh. wait, no. That's dropping. <laughs> There's an arrow. Smash. A common arrow. Its shaft was carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. Smash all the things. I remember you used to go into houses and just smashing everything. Ooh, we got a bow. Our, uh, said... Ah, to draw the bow and then to release it. Did the auto equip? Noise. Okay, let's not waste the arrows though. How do I switch? Okay. Are we even meant to be here? I was meant to be following the yellow dot, but I've ended up in this uh, prey. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Oh, that's nice. So I was meant to be going to that yellow dot, but I've ended up at this church. But at least we got some new gear. Uh, so the yellow dot is somewhere in this direction. We're kind of pointing towards it, but we'll see. We'll see uh, where we end up. They don't seem to be able to run very far without losing energy. Right, there's a... What's that? It's a skull and look like another Bokoblin. Bokoblin? Bokodopadopadin? Actually, can we shoot that with our arrow? Wee. Uh oh, you see me. <laughs> can we headshot this guy? <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of HP. Seemed like he was trying to blow on his horn. I guess that's to alert the other camp members or something. Oh, is there maybe more in here? Oh, there's like question marks and everything. Wow, there's a blue one. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I heal again? Ow. That put me down to like a course for of a HP. Gonna need to eat all the things. Hard up, dude. Oh, my weapon broke. Ah! What another club? Uh oh. Alright, I think I need to try and work out how to do dodging. 
because otherwise we are going to die. We just eat everything. We eat the acorns as well. I was off my HP. Whoa, 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 dude, 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 I was eating. So, so X, X is to dodge. All right, I've played Dark Souls. I've played Elden Ring. We can handle Breath of the Wild, right? All right. Whoa. My weapons keep breaking. Okay. Eat the acorns. I'm out of food. I actually need to be really careful. One hit and I'm probably dead. Am I dodging? Wait, what's behind me? There's a wall behind me. Sorry, we've got this. I'm not worried. You could maybe run away. Whoa. I'm not even getting to like... Stun it. Ooh. Running out of weapons. Oh. Whoa. I slapped him. Wait, don't pick up your weapon. Holy moly, this axe is like... Slapped him across the room. I kind of need some more HP. I saw another bow goblin in the, um... No wonder why it hurt me, man. This thing had a 12 attack thing. A spiked boko club. A reinforced bow goblin club made to maximize damage. The sharpened bones jabbed it into making it a brutal weapon. What? And there's a shield. Spiked boko shield. A boko shield made of slightly stronger wood and reinforced with bone animals. So nice we've got a shield now. Nice. We're going to be super strong now. Got another mace. Got a boko bow, but it's not as good as the one I've already got. A basic boko blind bow made of wood. It's made by taking any tree branch and it's just tying a string to either end. So don't expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. I wonder if you can make your own bows and stuff. Change bow quickly, draw it. So it's the same as switching melee weapons, but you just have to have your bow equipped. Okay, is there anything up there? I'm already way ahead of you. Played it for hours and kept dying to them. Oh, really? Oh, there's a, I think there was a chest in there. There's barrels as well. Oh, yeah, look, there's another. Can we shoot the barrel? What happens if I do this? It's just that. Oh, that didn't blow up. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would just blow up, but yeah, that makes sense. It wouldn't blow up. It's just uh, an arrow. Maybe we'll need some fire. Maybe if we lit the torch or something, but then I wouldn't want to be in melee range. Right, where are you, Mr. Baddie? Hi, you want to come out of there? I got uh, treats. Okay, can you want to come out? You want to come out? Hey, hey, you want to come out? Okay, maybe we have to use our own bow. I don't think I've, I've only got two arrows left. There's one on the ground in front of me. Nice. Hit an enemy's head for times two damage, it just said. Another bow. What's in the box? Fire arrows. Okay, a bundle of five fire arrows. Fire arrows break apart on impact, igniting objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against cold things. You can change arrows by drawing the bow, pressing the other button and switching. Okay. So I'm guessing fire would probably blow these up. I'm assuming they're like gunpowder barrels then. That's why my normal arrow didn't work. So, yeah. Since I've only got f Take the arrow. If I pull this arrow out of this barrel, is it going to explode? 
No, we get them. Okay. Um, it's nice that we can pick up arrows, though, so we don't, like, necessarily lose them. Alright, I need food. I've used up all my food, killing that blue bokoblin. Oh, there's enemies over there, and there's a fire barrel? Is that, like, stealth? So maybe we could ignite the fire barrel. Uh, ignite the explosive barrel thing. We can maybe go up here, actually. And then it maybe will kill one or two of those. Actually, there's a ball here. And there's a bunch of explosives there. Can we push this? Wait, what happens? Whoa! Wait, they both died! Well, that was easy. That was a for convenience placed rock and a conveniently placed um, explosives. Nothing in the barrel. Can we take this? Ah, more meat. And I need the HP, so we'll eat that now. So that's full HP. There's another weapon. Nice. Good start. There's more book goblins on the way to our yellow dot, so I guess we need to kill these guys. You don't seem to be able to see me. Let me sneak up on them. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, wait, what? And you hear me? Whoa, he's sliding. Da da. Oh, more arrows. What did the other guy have. Oh, we've got lots of arrows. Okay. More bows. I don't think I want to keep picking up these bows, do I? Or is it going to have inventory issues? It's just the same bows over and over again. Oh. Ooh, what's this? Why? Why are you watch? Wait, no! My weapon broke! My plus 12 attack weapon is broken! Got a new shield, which is way worse. A Bokoblin mage shield created by attaching a hand hold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. I guess they're going to have to get used to that. A weapon's just getting blown up. But there is a sword here. Wasn't as good as the uh, the mace, though. That was 12 damage, wasn't it? A traveler's sword. A very common sword. Often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Well, what am I meant to use it on, then? Humans? It's like another Sheikah Slate tablet thing. And there's a hole. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Let's just put it in, Link. Just put it in the hole. <laughs> Ta-da! Chica tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. Did we die? Is this a cinematic? Yeah, screw. It's another blue hoblin. As you see, we made by doing that, we made all of these towers rise up from the ground. Dun, 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 dun. Right now we're really high up. Do 
They're stealing a local information. It splashed on my Nintendo Switch. Right, so those tiles reveal map so we can see things because we couldn't see anything before. Regional map extracted. I'll have my switch back, please. Thank you. It's a long nap. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Follow the Sheikah Slate complete. Right now, what do we do? We're pretty high up. How do we get down? Uh, climb down. Mm, let go. Can we just keep jumping onto those platforms? Okay. I like the sound effects, it sounds like like wooden clogs like tapping against like concrete. You called me what? My my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop the tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle? Mm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. We've been asleep for a hundred years. The castle's been uh, under attack for a century. Hmm. It's all kind of lining up, don't you think? There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. This is very sussy charm. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Yeah, sure, why not? I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, for well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that'd be quite another story. Give it. I want it. Certainly. Why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Open your adventure lock. So, come, let me show you something. This better be PG-13, old man. Ah, uh, this is my quest. 
After your descent from the tower, the old man has told you that the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed 100 years ago by Calamity Ganon. You heard a voice. The old man said he would give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure. Ooh. Do you see that structure there? The one with the shine, shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. Mm -hmm. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider, paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Okay. Wait, there's some more book goblins, though. Wait, old man. I will first do the unthinkable. I will slaughter this village of goblins. Let's sneak up. They're just dancing. I feel kind of mean, actually, if we were to kill them. They're just chilling, having a good time. They're vibing around the campfire. Is he just going to let me sneak up? How do I get up? Hi! <laughs> they didn't even notice. Uh, where did his loot go? Oh, there's a bow there. Okay, we could shoot them. But I think we can just go in, can't we? They're just red ones, they're kind of squish. It's the blue ones that seem to be quite difficult. Wait, we can pick up this rock. Oh no, they've seen us. They've seen us. Huh. They're picking up their weapons. No, wait, I dropped the weapon. I didn't even throw the stone. Wait, what am I doing? I'm taking a picture. What are you doing, Link? <laughs> no, he's throwing the rock. Wait, what is going on? Complete clown fight going on. Alright, I think we've killed them all. Ugh, Link had to check Twitter mid-fight. Dear, oh dear. Alright, let's... Can't open these barrels before we go up. I wanna see if there's any more food. Can we hit these? Ooh, there's an apple and an acorn. More apples. Oh, we got loads of ingredients now. Apples and acorns. There's some more boxes up here. Loads of arrows, loads of apples. What's in the box? I bet it's going to be a 100 we attack weapon, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's close enough, wasn't it? Another sword. My inventory is full. Okay, we should probably see if we can drop a tree branch or something. Let's drop a couple of tree branches. Alright, so we've got another sword. Can we cook on that? Let me down. Sit. You can pass time by the fire. That's okay, we don't need to do that. So if I do the same as I did before at the campfire, so if I go to hold, apple, 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 we've got all the apples. Oh, there's a cook button. I like made a mega food. Simmered fruit. The sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. Nice. Check your meal's ingredients by selecting it from your inventory and then selecting recipe. How do, what does that mean? Selecting recipe. Ah, uh, apple, 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 apple. <laughs> so if I use like less, fewer, like if I use fewer apples, would it make like what will it be? Will it be a weaker food? Ah, three heart food. So it's the same name of food, but it's just giving me less hearts. But hey, that works. Can I... I know I can cook the acorns, but I said it's for like an elixir, but... 
Oh, add one to a meal for nutty seasoning. Okay, so... I guess I should have done like apple, 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 acorn, acorn or something. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Reza. Do, 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 do. Right. How do we cross this river? Well, there's another one of those things that has a screw, maybe. Don't know what the screws are for, but... Oh, yeah, it's a screw. Another ancient screw. Does this one have anything? Search. An ancient shaft. That's different, I think. A machine part used in ancient machinery is incredibly sturdy, and it's not made of any recognizable material. It may come in handy someday. Hey there, good morning, and hey everyone in the Twitch chat. I hope you guys are enjoying me playing through some Breath of the Wild for the kind of the first time. There's more book goblins over there, but let's just make our way to the shrine for now. There is thawing. That's like metal. There's a treasure chest over there. Oh. There's a treasure chest down there too. And there's a frog. Can I grab the frog? Frog. Frog. Dash. Come here, froggy. Wait, what? He evaporated. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, there doesn't seem to be a way to dive under. I think we'll get... Oh, there's two treasure chests down now. I'm assuming we'll get some stuff later on to get those out. But there's a chest here. And a... What's that? Roasted fish. Mm, yummy, yummy. Two roasted fish. And an EX chest. A ruby, a precious red gem mined from a large ore deposits found throughout Hyrule. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. Okay. We're getting gems. I think the EX on the chest is like DLC stuff, isn't it? Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. That's cool. I thought it was gonna like open like from down to up, but the way that it kind of opened like that was pretty cool actually. The like individual slabs moving in. Into the unknown. To you who set foot in this shrine, I am Oman U, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Magnesis trial. There's another Nintendo Switch slate thing here. Sheikah slate authenticated, distilling rune. Oh man, please don't splash my Switch again. Man, I better not break it. What do we got? Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using mag magnetism. Magnetism. Grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from this magnesis rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely.
Ooh. Right, so we seem to be locked in a cage and we've got two metal rectangles here. What am I meant to do? Ah! Do -do 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 -do. I'm familiar with that sound. That was kind of cool. I was expecting to have to like make a ramp or something. But there's a metal box. Whoosh. Can we push that hole? Oh wow, all of these move. Push. Haha. <laughs> me push. Wait, something just moved right there. Hi, little guy. Are you a baddie? Are you a baddie, aren't you? Okay, can I use this? Hi. Whoa. I just one shot it. I don't know what I just did, but it, it died. Um. Okay, so we have like a little bridge here, and then we need to make another bridge. Oh, we could just use the same slab. Yeah, put that over here. Big brain. Can we grab that chest? Huge. Yeah. Can we open the door of the chest? I think so. Maybe there's a key. Another bow. Knock, knock. Ah, that's why it didn't open when I pushed it. It's because it opens the wrong way. Hi, creepy old corpse. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman U, the creator of this tribe. He made this? Dude, you got your door the wrong way around. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia and dedicated to helping those who seek the, the something. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. The go was it the Goran? Goran? Something like that? I don't know what you just said at the end. In the name of the goddess Haelia, allow me to bestow you this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. I'll take one of your spirit orbs. Look, I gave myself a heart attack there. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Wait, we killed him? He literally gave away his soul to me. Now he's dead. Jeez, that's kind of dark. Do they have the courtesy to write push or pull? <laughs> Wait, what's he calling me again? As soon as you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb, well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it beco can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine... It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Paraglider, please. I have yet to finish speaking. <laughs> Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. 
The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasures from each one of those shrines and I'll give you the power, power glider. He's changing the deal, yeah. That wasn't the deal. Oh. Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Those blue icons, you should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Oh, so I could just teleport to the top. That's what I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. So let's go to the map. How do we do that? Uh, I guess maybe we should save. That might be a good idea as well. Uh, am I pressing the wrong button? Aha. Uh -huh. So if I can go Heroes Path Mode Unlocked, press X on the map to see my path. Oh wow, there's a huge green squiggly line to where I've been. That's kind of cool. I guess that's like so you can discover new places that you haven't been to yet. Alright, so we go back up to the tower because the old man told me to. You've never seen that? I think it's DLC stuff. Hey, how did he get up here already? That guy's hacking, dude. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? So you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? Yes. I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to train me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. This is how I accidentally used the camera earlier. The pins on your map serve as a reference point for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. I got it. Go ahead and take a look if you're inclined to do so. Alright, so we have... There's a... Okay, there's a shrine over there. How do I put a pin in? Place pin A. Okay, is there anything else? There's another one of his shrines there. There's another tower there. Uh, let's zoom out. So I think that blue one we've already done. So that's one, two, so there's going to be three shrines around. Okay, that's the other one. This also was a tower I thought I saw somewhere as well. There's a tower over there. Might as well use my last pink pin on this. Ta-da! Having trouble finding the shrines? Nope. Alright, I guess we just go. Alright, so can we... F Maybe I want to fast travel to this shrine, but this one's quite close to me. I guess we need to climb all the way down and go to the green pin. I do like that slant sound for some reason that the the shoes on the concrete kind of thing sounds. It's, I don't know why. I think you bought the DLC and then never played it. Ring thing. Tisk tisk tisk. 
Yeah, that's when we killed the book goblins earlier with that skull, the blue one, and then... That weapon only lasted like three hits before it blew up. There's another tower over there, I think. Alright, we're getting closer to the green pin. It's another one of those statue thingies. Another ancient shaft. Oh. I don't want to change my weapon, I think. Uh, let's use these Boko Clubs. Oh, is this like Ocarina of Time? Where it like... Did this guy just threw his head? I was gonna say, like in Ocarina of Time you need to kill the heads. Wait, this is just a body charging at me. What is going on? Ow! Put your hands on the ground. These Bokoblin arms. They got five attack. A skelet skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from his body. It's kind of gross to strap to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. It's old and fragile, like me, so it's quick to break. Well, we can maybe use. Yeah, we can get rid of this branch and pick up another arm. I'm going to be very OCD and eat because I've lost a quarter of a heart. Have I got any small food? I've got an acorn that does heal a quarter of a heart. Okay. What's this? A two damage spear. A spear haphazardly carved from a large tree branch. It looks like its original intent was for skewering meat and cooking it, but it does have some combat merit as well. I want to try a, a spear as well. Let's get rid of the torch. Oh, there's that going to be two-handed, isn't it? Whereas I've got a, I could use a shield and a hand, a wiggly hand. How did you pay with Sem C Simu? No, I don't know what that is. I hope I didn't just walk into a joke there either. But I play I'm playing on the Switch. Uh, okay. Please no. Can we kill us? Is this magnetic? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, is this something I want to take on at the start? Can we shoot it? I've got 52 arrows. So that's his head. He seems to be having an error. Okay, that health is not going down at all, is it? Amount of weapon. Let's choose this. I mean, it seems doable. I just don't know if I've got enough uh, weapons to do this. Uh, weapon, melee weapon. I can have no weapons after this. DC abuser. I mean, I've played enough League of Legends and played Morgana a few times. <sighs> What's this? Okay. That sword attack didn't seem to do a lot. My weapons are just break. I've got no. I can have no weapons. Is that even doing any damage? I'm assuming I'm probably not meant to be doing this. I've got a stick. The stick's gonna break as well, isn't it? 
Yeah. Got my trusty woodcutter's axe. Ah. Do I have any weapons left? I think I've only got arrows and bows and my bow just broke. <laughs> we got a bow kobo. Die. It's got one HP left. Wait. Did we get some fat loot? Ancient screw and spring and a ancient gear. A gear using ancient machinery, despite being incredibly old, its build quality is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology. I didn't have any weapons. Oh my god! Like I've got no weapons. I've <laughs> got no melee weapons left. I wonder if I better use those gears and things to make a new weapon, because. I'm a bit weaponless right now. I'm a bit naked. I've already looted that one. Okay, well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. I have no weapons left. So I guess we just don't bother with that one. Can we ignore it? I hope I don't have to kill it. That's the shrine. There's a bunch of rocks here too. Oh no, I've got no weapons. Uh, ah. Um, there's a chest up there, maybe that will have a weapon. Nintendo Switch shirt. Well, it has the same armor as the one I've got, so... A shirt with the Nintendo Switch logo on it is rather rare find, so wear it with pride. Okay, we can... Let's wear the Nintendo Switch shirt. Can we shoot these from here? Oh, when they die, they're gonna drop weapons, aren't they? They're gonna drop more, like, arms and stuff. Wait, he's just walking around like a zombie. <laughs> the other guy's freaked out by his friend having no head. <laughs> yeah, my god, my friend's got no head, dude. Wait, stand still. Uh, stop it. Wait, did I just hit his friend? Alright, I got oh, I got another sword, okay, thank goodness. Alright, got some. I've actually got weapons now. Cool. We've got the shrine here. Shrine number two. 